All right, so I'm going to put the nest boxes in this corner. Michael's making them now. There'll be two of them. It's a rectangular box, about 30, what was it, 30 by 18 by 18 or something like that. A little oversized, but that's okay. Um, it's Florida. I don't want to put them in a snug, snug box. They'll still have their privacy, but they won't be cramped when it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, let's see. I found this old axe hammer, or hammer, handle. It was here in the shed when we moved in. I want to use that as a roosting bar. So I need to... I don't know if I'm going to use it inside or I'll probably use it in here so that it's not so bad. It fits perfectly from here, from the window over to this stud. So that'll be a nice little bar. Of course, they're probably going to be, I don't know if they're going to be fighting to sit by the window or fighting to not sit by the window. But anyway, that'll be one bar and then I'll have a longer one um, from this side of the window, I think, or no, it'll go from that window, that side of the window too, over there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet for the roosting bars. I know I'm going to make them natural. Um, well, that one is uh, going to be, I'm going to repurpose that axe handle. And then the other one's just going to be a tree branch, like a three inch diameter. I put my red truck out here for now. I'll probably put it back in the house next Christmas. That's got to go. I don't know where. I'll put it back under the pole barn for now once the weather's more stable and not so cold. I'm going to put a bench here so that food bin will go under the bench and some other stuff will go under the bench. I have a five gallon bucket there. That's my barn lime for the lime wash. Um, I think that's it for in here at the moment. I'll get the nesting box in, the roosting things in, finish sweeping. I'm trying to find some scrap linoleum from somewhere. I don't want to pay 80 bucks for linoleum to put on a chicken floor. Um, so in the meantime, before I find that, I'll just put down extra, extra straw or uh, wood shavings, one or the other. And I need to come up with something to divide this space. I want to divide it from uh, the door here at the edge of the nesting box over to this stud right here. We put just an, a low angle wall or high angle. I don't know. I'm going to put it way up there so they can't jump up on it and roost on it. What I want to do is keep that section, that corner of the coop for them, and then try to keep this area somewhat clean so they're not climbing on my um, supplies and cabinets. There's a squirrel up in the tree. So I moved the thermometer and clock out here. I put a new battery in it and it still works. I can't believe it. It's all rusted. We've had it for, shoot, I don't know how long. And, oh, there's a blue jay up in the tree. Knocking stuff down on me. That's what he's doing. Where'd he go? So that's that. Got the thermometer up, which is good. It says, I don't know how accurate it is. I'll have to look on the phone and see how accurate it is. It says it's 54. I think it's a little bit warmer than that, but I might be wrong. Maybe just because I've been out here working. 
But it looks like the timers, the clock is actually keeping good time. It's 4.39, and it's 4.39 there. And I set it about an hour ago. Watering can. I put this here. I'm going to have my mom repaint it, make it look all cute. And Mikey is over here building the nest box out of scrap plywood. I saw all kinds of different nest boxes that I like. Real simple ones, you know, the milk crate, the five gallon buckets. And uh, those were really super simple, but they cost money. I don't have any free milk crates around here. And the five gallon buckets run anywhere from three to five dollars a piece with a lid. And they seem a little cramped. Um, and I don't know what size chicken I'm gonna get yet, so that's why I'm making these. So. Or Michael is making the mess boxes. So we had this scrap left over from one of the Christmas lawn ornaments and where we cut out the window on the coop. He doing a good job, babe. Looks awesome. Doing a little uh, <laughs> just kind of work on the bits and pieces as I go, not being super planned out with it's, exactly what I'm gonna make. It's a chicken it's a chicken nest box. It's not you know, mm -hmm. it's for a chicken, not royalty. So it's okay. Doesn't hurt my feelings any if it's a little cookie. Now I was gonna put this. I want a piece of plywood too mm -hmm. um, to put inside this frame. Okay. And then I'm gonna put that um, chicken wire on there. And I can hang it on the wall in there and hang tools on it. Okay. You know, chicken whatever tools I need. Um, little gadgets that I need inside the coop. What? I don't know. I can even put a little hooky do pocket thing on there just to stick my phone in while I'm out there or hang medicine from or what? I don't know. Whatever. I just thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Looks like the water. I may have fixed it. Let me move it outside. I don't see any leaks, see? Eh? Not yet. Awesome. We got this eye from this idea from the chicken no two creative chicks um, they had this not yet we are going to put on the little bobber water level thing so we know how much water is in there and, uh, and a little copper piece to help reduce algae buildup sweet it's not leaking I'm awesome. See, see if the cold or the heat affects it all later. Yeah. And I'll go put it over by the feeders and uh, let it sit there for a couple days. Make sure it doesn't leak. Even if you tip on. See, the water comes right out. Sweet. Let's move this over.